What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to use green screen or chroma key in Pixelmator Pro. So I wanna take this green screened iPhone in the background, and I want to add this widget layer to the front. In other words, I want this to end up looking like this. So how do we do that? First, I wanna position this, I wanna resize and position this widget layer to what I need it to be. So kind of resize, get it in there. That looks about good. A little bigger. Become the green screen. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. So once you've got that layer set as you want, I'm gonna bring this background layer, this green screen layer up to the front. Now, go ahead to the right side of your screen and hit the quick select button. It looks kind of like a pen icon with a dotted circle around it and then hit the new option and go ahead also and select your brush size. This affects obviously how big the brush is and is really useful for when you've got a bigger area or maybe a smaller area that you're trying to hit. I'm gonna leave it like this. So now move your mouse over and you can see that this kind of yellow glow is starting to appear on certain colors. I'm using it for green, but obviously you can use this for other colors too. For example, you can see I'm using it on the black or I can use it on the white and it'll change. But right now I'm just using it on this green screen. So I'm gonna click on it and now it has this dotted border around it. And all you have to do is hit the delete key. And you can see that background widget image is now in the foreground, or at least it's visible because we've removed the green screen layer. Now it's not perfect. As you can see, for example, up here, there is still a little bit of green and the black battery since I didn't perfectly align these two. But you can go, of course, go back with the arrow and select these and delete them. So you may have to do this a couple times just to cover some things like these little green areas right here. But with a little bit of work, you can easily, pretty quickly and easily clear these all out. Likewise, I can take this to the white areas back here so that I can make this background, instead of being a white, I can make it a clear background so it can adjust to whatever else I put it on in the future. Same sort of thing, so just hit delete. And given the size of this brush, I'm gonna have to reduce it down Let's take it to 11, see if that's enough, and yeah, that's pretty good. And there you have it. Now this widget screen is over the iPhone screen that we had, and it looks pretty natural, pretty normal. Again, this may take more or less time depending on the kind of thing you're doing with your green screen, but this is just a really easy way to use green screen or chroma key function in Pixelmator Pro. So thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you want more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on our website, easyosx.net, and on social media. Thank you again so much for watching.